Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a loading bar for your Construct 3 project. Not to be confused with a progress loading bar. This is actually very specific. It's a loading bar for adverts. So let's just show you what that's going to look like. So this is a Construct 3 project that I've made. It's a Christmas advent calendar. It's got 25 games. Took me absolutely ages to make, but hopefully should be worthwhile. So if I just click on play, and I just load up a random num number. So this is what we're going to be creating today, this loading bar. And a few things to point out. So the text, it was flashing, it isn't anymore. It also said loading, now says loading complete. We've got this black board around the edge and this over here started on this side and then ended up on this side. The play button, it was grey and unclickable, it's now green and, you, and it is clickable. So when you do click on it, it goes to the next layout. So if I just click on that to show you the game I've made very quickly. I will obviously do a proper promo video for this sort of thing. Ah, and we fell over. So let's just come out of here. Um, the reason we do create this loading bar is if we had this menu and we click on here and then go straight into a game and we, and we say on the start of the layout, create this advert. Uh, and then we're also creating a, a bunch of other things while, while the game is being played and stuff it's going to create a lot of lag at least initially just just while that advert is being created so you may see if you've got some animations at the start of your game it may may be a bit of a delay for the animation to start uh, you may see some frames of the animation getting skipped and overall probably doesn't look very good. Um, another problem you may find is that the game itself is unresponsive. So if you're playing on a game and you're clicking on the screen over here, you may find that um, it's not responding very well. And then those clicks that you've made it could catch up and then all of a sudden do lots of different clicks and basically not something that you carry, um, one of your people want to be doing. Um, so yeah, this loading bar it sort of fixes all those problems with the, when you're creating that advert, that initial uh, few seconds of delays and unresponsiveness that you get from from creating adverts so let's show you what this game does so as we hold down we can move this around that that does the aim and when we let go I'll shoot this candy and then it collects all these candy at the bottom there so let's uh so yeah the way that i've got this set up is so um Go into another thing. So over here, we're actually not loading a game. We're actually using that that time to load up an advert, and then when you go and play, um, here you start playing the game. We've already got the the advert created. When we click on this button here, it, it then shows the advert and takes us back to the menu. That's uh, that's what happens. It works very well. Something that I would definitely recommend if you're having adverts in your game and you're experiencing lag and unresponsiveness in those few seconds. This is something that will fix that problem for you. So let's come out of here. And we'll start a new project and we'll get to work on building that loading bar. So the first thing I want to do is 
I'm going to change um, this so that it's the same size as my viewport. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, so control minus, so we can see everything here. I'm also going to change the grid size to 20 by 20. I'm going to put a snap to grid on as well. So this is the grid there. And when you move something around, it'll just uh, be easier to get things in the right position. So let's uh, go on Sprite and we're going to have a black bar. So this black bar, this is actually going to be what builds that border for the loading bar. I'm going 300 by 60. Use whatever size you want. In fact, I'm going to change that origin point. I'm going to put it on the right. I'm going to do the origin point on the right for all of them. Perfect. I'm going to then create a blue bar. So I'm going to put it the same dimensions at the moment on the origin point on the right. In fact, I didn't change it, did I? probably going to be quicker if I just clone this. So right click, go and clone. I'm going to call this one white bar and double click. I'm going to turn it white. So this one super duper important that you have the origin point on the right. These ones not as important but it makes it a lot easier to have the same origin point so that's why I've gone all on the right. So this one will go on top of here. So to build that border we have a look at the size. So if we want five pixel border around the whole edge uh, we want to take so five plus five is ten so we take ten off the in total on this on each side so this becomes 290 by 50. Let's take the snap to grid off now so we can either press on the keyboard five spaces we can come up over here and change this to 375. We'll just do it on the keyboard for now so one two one, two, three, four, five. So three, seven, five. That's right in the middle. We also want this one to be on top of here. So quickest way, just go control C to copy. Click on here and then control V to paste and then enter. And that's not quite right, is it, for some reason? Ah. Uh, yeah, I see why. So this one needs to be 290 by 50. So make sure that the white one is the same size as your blue one. Or whatever colour you choose. I've gone for blue because that's a typical loading bar colour. You can have whatever you want. I mean, I did have a... A candy bar sort of theme on my um, advent calendar so you can have a picture anything any color you want so let's get that position put that on top and the way this is going to work if I just go into here so the way it works is Make sure snap to grid isn't on. The way it works is you take this white one and it basically changes the width of the white one and it keeps on going across like this for five seconds until the width is equal to zero. So it gives that illusion that uh, the the bar underneath is actually growing, but it's actually this white one that's shrinking. Hopefully that makes sense. 
Um, so let's add a few more things to our project. So we had some text, didn't we? Let's call it loading text. Use the camel casing. Loading dot dot dot. Make it a bit bigger. Change the alignment to center. We can move it around. Looks okay. And we also had some play buttons, so sprites. I'm gonna call it green play. A little bit too big. Let's change that to 100 by 55, I think. And we'll have grey play. And very important, this is the same size. And we want to put the green one needs to come off the screen and the grey one somewhere around here. And the next thing we need to do is to just assign some behaviours. So we had some flashing text, didn't we? So go okay, behaviour, flash. And this white one here, let's so make sure it's on the white bar. And we need to go on something called tween. Which I cannot see, so I'm just going to type in here. There we go. We also need the touch plugin. So we'll add that in there. So that's uh, all the objects here done. So. All we need to do now is go into the event sheet. In fact, let's uh, make a mental note of things. This is 375600. So start a layout. Need the blue bar. remember what I said now. Let's just go check. So three seven five six hundred. And we need to change the white bar position. This isn't necessary, is it? Let's, uh, let's just get rid of those, sorry. Let's make sure that the text goes on loading. Let's put a uh, Google Play Let's check where that is. Let's just make it easier to remember some numbers to twenty by two twenty seven twenty. Okay, so for the green one, we need to put any sort of negative number. So I'm just going to go for minus 200 on each of the axes. And I'll go 
a width of 290 on the white bar so it'll be whatever this is here and white bar go into the tween we need just tween one property and it's going to be the width and the end value is zero because we want it to have a width of zero and I'm going to leave the time at five seconds with everything else on the default and no 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 So we're going to flash, we're going to have 0 0.5 seconds for the on time, off second for the off, and we're going to have a duration of 5 seconds. So important to make sure that this 5 seconds, that's going to be the same value. So it's, as soon as it stops flashing, it's uh, as soon as this has gone to the end, this will stop flashing, it'll then we need to then change the text as well, don't we? So let's go for wait for previous actions to complete. So as soon as all that's done, we want to change that text to loading complete. Um, green play button we need to change the position so we want it to be on the same place as the gray button so let's go gray play dot x gray play dot y then over here we need to go touch tap object green play system go to layout you can either choose which layout or you can go to the next layout in fact I, that's um i haven't actually got another layout to choose from because i've not created one but if you want to create layouts just go over here add layout And then you can go on to layout two then. So let's go back into here. If we press the play button, ah, so we've almost got it working. There's um, the green button hasn't appeared here. I think I know what the reason might be. Let's just, um, just highlight it all, right click, go on the Z order, open Z order bar. Yeah, so this green one needs to come right at the top so you can move it, move it around. We want to put it right up here. And now if we press the play button. Yeah. That works perfectly. So that's uh, that's how you create the loading bar. Hope it helps you out and good luck with your projects.